Credit cards do you have in your wallet? Credit cards, debit cards, cards card, gift cards, too many? It's time to throw away your old wallet and say hello to the new way life. We are introducing you Brilliant Card and let you experience the simplest way of payment. Only you need to do is swipe all of your card and store it into your phone. Access all the cards on only one card. It is cool, isn't it? When you go shopping, just choose the card you want, swipe and pay, just like any other cards. It's work with ATM too. After making a payment, notification will be sent into your phone, so you can check it right away. You can even choose the category of your payment and keep track of your budgets. With Bluetooth Low Energy Technology, before you go too far, the card will be locked down, and applicant will warn you left your card behind. NFC tap your card with your phone to unlock. With tapping, it will operate the application right away. With NFC, you can use this card to ride the bus or open the door. Market, mall, ATM, gas station, and more. Pay smart, make it simple. Brilliant card. So, I believe some of you guys know what this card is about from Kickstarter, but presentation So our company A is a bit hard to pronounce, but it's called Brilliance. It stands for Brilliant Technology and Solution. So basically, uh, we can stack up to hold three, 30 different cards with a membership, credit card, or a TP as a one-time password or an employee card. And our solution is based on the hardware, the card that I'm going to show you later on, and the hard and your mobile application. So basically, you're going to install all your membership debit card through from the mobile device, and it's all your, your account information will connect it through Bluetooth and transfer to the hardware, so that you can uh, trans make a transaction with the hard hardware to anywhere you want. So basically, we our uh, our card has a four core technology. We have the magnetic strip stripe emulation on top of it and we have the multi-IC technology, which enables EMB. And the third is the ultra smooth packaging. Since the credit card is 0.84 thick thickness, it's really hard to generate the hardware in this uh, thickness, so, so we're going to explain to that. And we have the car security with the biometric security and the Bluetooth. So basically, the car emulation is Something like this, I'm not a hardware expert, but uh, our patent technology is from here. So the track, there's a different track data, different track 1, track 2, track 3, and credit card, debit card, membership card, they use different track information. And we're basically, whenever you select different payments or debit card or membership information, they're going to generate your the magnet uh, field each time. So basically, it, it doesn't have anything right off, but afterwards, after you make the selection, they're going to write the magnetic field generation. And that's how it is. <coughs> so this slide explains that the card is 0.8 millimeter thickness, which satisfies ISO blah blah standard. And, <laughs> and this, this shows you the you know the naked body of the product and I already brought it here and if you promise to not to take any pictures I'm going to show you with my camera so that you can see you know our brilliant technology and this is about uh, brilliant car security some of you guys know uh, called coin the product coin so they are trying hard to uh, satisfy the EMA standard, and we are trying to partnership with a financial institution to enable this. And this is a car security. Basically, if you're away from the mobile device, it's gonna lock all the data so that the card is lost, and you will get loss of your uh, all important information. So we have the different levels of series, and I'm gonna show you later on. This is all patent information. And our team member, briefly to explain, uh, our CEO is from South Korea, and he actually developed the BlackBerry's optical trackpad in the middle, 
And he actually uh, put an IP over it uh, with that Altic Farfetch from Blackberry. So basically, we are hardware experts, and I'm going to show you the actual product again. It's an SVU Tech debut. <laughs> and so, you should you shouldn't take any pictures. We'll be on <laughs> How do you make money? So basically, we are selling the hardware and software to the existing uh, financial institution or device manufacturer. You're looking to license, license it out to basically bank, and the bank would yes. sell yes. that card. Uh -huh. How long does the battery last? Yeah. That's a good question. It depends on the uh, user scenario. Based on uh, five different payments, uh, five actions, daily usage, we, we expect three months usage, and we have actually a rechargeable battery, so charge the panel. So basically, you plug it in, your car is going to charge it. Where's the security? The security? Yeah, I mean, you've got five or ten credit cards on that one card. Right. But you want to use only one card to pay your bill. You yeah. have to hand it over to a cashier or uh, a waiter. How do you the other credit cards? Yeah. So, whether you make a selection, it's going to write that specific card information on top of it, and some of the uh, what is it? The design that we uh, intend, our intention is that putting the button at the corner so that the cashier wouldn't accidentally, you know, push the button. But if you make the selection and it's gonna uh, put the magnetic field information right here, and the cashier is gonna pay for it, and then you get the card return. I think the question is more about that cat, like the waiter takes your card and goes to the other side of the building to swipe. Oh, is that your question? So that's the Bluetooth or NFC technology that we, we're going to pair with your device. And it's going to lock, let you know the card is certain meters away from, your, from you. So that we're going to lock all the account information. So it's going to, because it, it has its processors in it. So you know, it kind of communicates daily with your mobile phone. And that's why we need a battery and a recharging card. We have time for one more question. How do you plan to compete with existing solutions that doesn't need the additional hardware? Okay, that's a good question. So we, uh, our one of our competitors, uh, they they were not able to implement EMD, which is a chip in, the the one you're usually using these right. days, right? So it's it's very hard, very long process. But what we are trying to do is build a B2B partnership so that we can just expedite expedite all the process within certain months and so on. Okay. So. That's our strategy, basically. Thank you. Thank you very much.